Thanks for watching PreserveSoft video number two. I just want to show you more about your work order queue that you have here. The most important thing for working with GCP is to complete your work orders on time. And so as you look at these different due dates here, you can sort these work orders and get them in the order of the due dates that they are. It's a good way of sorting your work and making a priority of when to complete this work. You can also sort by city or state or zip. You can do multiple sorts by clicking one and then holding down the control key and you can click multiple items here to do multiple sorts. So it's a great way to do sorts based on the way you want to look at work orders. When you have a queue full of work and new work comes in it's kind of hard to keep track of so we've created these work orders that come in as new and so you can easily see what you've already reviewed and what comes in new. So when you receive a work order and you want to check it off now you can see that it turns green and you know that you've reviewed that work order. So it's good for you to always accept the work orders that come into your queue um, and that lets you know that you reviewed them. Also your RVM can see this and they know that you've reviewed them as well. You choose your work that you're going to do for the day based off of customer due date and um, in location. And when you choose work orders that you want to do, you can hit this map view over here and it will map these three work orders. And over here we have the information and the address. And you can see that when we click on the bubbles, we get the information over here. And we'll talk more about what's over here in a future video. So let's go back to the grid. Now, after I decide that these are the three work orders that I want to do for the day, um, I need to know what to do. Now you can see when I click over here on this work order, um, this, these two panes are relative to this. So everything in this pane and this pane are what is the information that is behind this work order. This PDF button, view PDF button, this will tell us what we need to do at the property. It's very important that you print this out for every single one. And I know this work order is blank but it will give you all the work order details. You need to print these out for every single job every day so that when you get to the job you know exactly what to do. Um, don't count on your memory. Don't go by these tags here. Well it's an REO or it's a bid. You don't know what to bid. There might, see, might be some allowables. There might be some different things on the job or some things that have changed. So it's very very important that you always print these out. One easy way to print them all out is if you select all three work orders that you're going to do for the day and you hit the print selected queue what this is going to do now is it's going to create a PDF that has all three of those work orders um, there for you so you can easily print them out and quickly be on your way so you select the work orders and then you hit your print selected queue and you're out the door but the biggest thing of this video that I wanted to um, it, um, tell you about is due dates are very very important we have to meet our due dates with our client that's how we receive more work and more work is more volume for you more volume is a better money maker for your business and then the other thing is please you must always print these work orders out and bring them on the job so you know exactly what to do